Hello, we're going to do a video today, and this video will demonstrate how to install the Cisco VPN AnyConnect software on an Ubuntu 13.10 system. In order to be able to do what is on this video, a Lehigh University ID and password is required. After attaching with the Cisco VPN AnyConnect software to the Lehigh VPN, a user will have access to most of the same resources that they would have access to if they were sitting on campus. Uh, some of the machine specifics are we're running Ubuntu 13.04. Uh, okay, let's uh, get started here. We'll put this in the background. Okay, first thing we want to do is uh, open up Firefox or your favorite web browser, and I'll give it the two clicks. <clears throat> And we're going to go to software.lehigh.edu, hit enter, click login, log in with your Lehigh password and ID. Okay, uh, and then by policy we connect, we, we click never remember password. Um, that way somebody can't sit down and log into your ID just by sitting down. Okay, come down to Cisco AnyConnect VPN, click on the green check mark. And then if you drag on down, you'll see a big green button at the bottom. We're running the 64-bit Linux, so we're going to click on the Linux 64-bit radio button, click Agree and Download, and then we're just going to save this file. It saves pretty quickly. I'm running over a uh, regular, regular DSL line. It's only about 7 megabytes, you can see there. That's not too bad. Okay, now that's downloaded, and what I'm going to do is close my browser. I don't need that at the moment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, open up a new terminal. <clears throat> I'll drag this up and hold down the Control Shift plus plus plus, and make the terminal a little bit bigger so it's easy to see. I'm going to do a change directory CD into. Uh, actually, let me do this first. PWD shows us where we are, so when we're in the home directory. Uh, I'm going to do a CD change directory into downloads. Notice the capital D there. That's you have to use the capital D and do an LS. Since I didn't have my Firefox telling me, uh, ex give me giving me the option of uh, asking where to save uh, the file, it put it straight into downloads for me which was fine. Um, now I'm going to unzip or unpack the um, file and this was packed with uh, uh, gzip so we're going to gunzip it. So gunzip or gunzip and I type just the first couple of characters um, once I have few, uh, the unique string of characters for a file I can just hit the tab key and it will auto complete it and I'll hit the enter and I'll type ls and you'll see the .gz disappeared. I'm now going to untar the file so I'll type tar-xvf, x means extract, v verbose and the f means the next thing that's coming is the file name so I'll hit a and hit the tab key it'll autocomplete and then I'll hit enter and what you see there is the file being uh, untarred or uh, extracted. I'll type ls Notice now there's uh, a blue uh, uh, entry in there, and that's actually a directory. So we'll do cd for change directory, and I'll hit an ANY and hit the tab key, and it finishes typing that directory. Uh, you, can, you can always type that out by hand. You don't have to hit the tab key. Uh, I just use that as a little quick uh, thing to do. I'll type ls, and we'll see the three directories that are under that anyconnect-3.1 directory. Um, the directory we now want to do another change directory into is the VPN. And I'll do an ls. Down here at the bottom, three up from the bottom, is something called vpn underscore install.sh. That's what we actually want to run. In order to run, in order to install that, we're going to type sudo sudo space dot slash, that means right here in this directory, vpn underscore i. I'm going to hit the tab key because I know that I can see that's unique now. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to ask for my password. 
Okay, now a license just flew by there, um, and after you read it and you agreed to the license, uh, you're going to type in a capital Y. So it'll be Shift Y, Enter, and the software is now installed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and type uh, Exit here, <coughs> and we're going to go ahead and see if we can run the software. So we'll click on this button up here for searching for software. We'll come into the uh, area where you can search and we'll type capital C I S we're going to get rid of that term there we go C I S uh, just the C I S brought the software up there's the Cisco AnyConnect secure mobility client and that's what we just installed we're going to go ahead and uh, double click or actually it was a single click uh, and brought that application up it's going to bring up a dialog box after you click on the icon uh, it's connect to it's sslvpn.lehigh.edu du there we go and then um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little uh, box here with two gears that's a configuration box I'm going to go ahead and click on that and what I want to do now is I want to uncheck this thing that says block connections to an untrust to untrusted servers so I'm going to turn that off, and then I'll hit close. Now I'll go ahead and hit connect, and it's going to tell me that I'm going into an untrusted server. I believe that just means that the key hasn't been signed by uh, one of the big guys who signed keys. Uh, so we're using um, a self-signed key, most likely. So we're going to hit connect anyways. And it says it timed out. Okay, we're going to hit connect anyways. There we go. Um, you can't wait too long or it times out. Type in your Lehigh password, or Lehigh ID first, and then your Lehigh password. Okay. And then it's going to come up again and say it's a, you know, an untrusted certificate. We're going to hit connect anyways. And voila, it looks like it worked. We'll take a real quick look at some... Um, uh, stuff on the from the command line just to uh, for academic curiosity we'll type IP space A and when we type IP space A we see this thing here that says ETH01 that's the like the network card and I have a 192.168.1.104 IP address that's my address inside the house here that's a private address and the Cisco address is the CSC TUN0 that's the Cisco uh, address there, and it's a 128.180 address. And uh, that 128.180, that's a, that's a Lehigh address. So um, the connection is actually established. Um, one thing we can do to see if it works is we can type ping um, ECE teaching labs.cc.lehigh. Dot edu and okay there we're getting a response so and then hit control C and that will stop the um, uh, that will stop the pings now that particular machine happens to be behind be behind the Lehigh firewall and um, that tells me that I can actually see behind the Lehigh firewall okay um, so uh, that works and I'm going to go ahead and type exit here now, um, what what you can do if if you want to um, if you come in into the search thing and type C I S and it brings up the Cisco uh, AnyConnect, you might have to type out a little bit more depending on your what applications you have. And you see this icon. What you can do is double click this icon and it will bring the dialog box up again. If you want to disconnect, what you can do is click on this thing here that says uh, in the dialog box, click on the connections or connection tab and then click disconnect. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and close this and we'll just connect in one more time so, you, so we can see how we did it. Click on search, type in CISCO, however far you have to go. You should get this icon, double click it, hit connect. It's going to say it's untrusted, connect anyways. Now it should remember the uh, uh, the address that you typed in for the machine for the VPN machine. Um, uh, one quick thing to point out here is we're going in with general access. 
This means anything that is destined for Lehigh or a Lehigh IP address goes into Lehigh. If you do something like go to Google, it will go straight to Google from your machine. Um, if you need to use library uh, databases and to look at journals and things like that uh, over the internet, um, you'll come in here and you'll click this little drop down box and you'll go into library resources. When you do library resources, everything you type, even your Google uh, queries are going to go through the Lehigh network and then out to Google. Uh, but, if you, and, but if you use this library resources, you can now look at library uh, uh, things you would get to from the uh, university, uh, for example, like periodicals and uh, journals and things like that for research. Okay, so we're here and now we're going to, uh, the username's in there and we're going to um, um, go ahead and uh, type in the password. Okay, and again, it's going to say, it, you know, the it, I don't think it's a signed certificate. Don't know who you are, but okay. So we'll hit connect anyways, and again we connected. Okay, that's all there is to setting up uh, VPN on uh, Ubuntu 13.04. And um, I hope you found this informational, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, thanks a lot.